as we come together this morning, I invite you in this opening treatment to join me in accepting faith, accepting our own ability to develop faith, to increase faith, to direct faith. And in this context, the definition of faith that I'm using is a knowledge so certain, so certain, that an opposite idea will not even enter the mind. There is only one life, and we call that life God, or we call it nature, we call it love, we call it spirit, we call it first cause, we call it principle. It matters not to it what we call it, but it matters to us what we call it. For the words that we use are symbols of our idea of God. And our idea of God affects our entire life. We know that this one mind is omniscient. It is all-knowing. Everything there is to know, it knows. It can never doubt. It just simply knows. It is perfect faith. In fact, it would need no word for faith because it knows no other, no opposite. We recognize that this omniscience, this divine mind, this divine love has created each and every one of us out of itself. It has left us alone to make that discovery. It has given us the ability to choose the experience of the knowledge of good, of the knowledge of evil. That is, we can doubt and we can choose not to doubt. We can choose faith. We can choose to develop our knowledge to the point where nothing to the opposite can even enter our consciousness. And we recognize that there is a power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief that helps us make that change. So we accept right now not only our ability to increase faith, but our action to do so. For life is a matter of what we have faith in or what we have doubt in. Today, we choose to allow our faith to increase, starting with our faith in our own ability to make this increase. We are grateful to know that there's a power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief, and that power now takes this word and is doing whatever needs must be to create a greater opening in our consciousness and in all consciousness through which a greater experience of faith is realized. We release this treatment to that perfect law, knowing so certainly it is done, that we say together, and so it is.